Okay, so I've just um, went ahead and started to um, change um, the lookout, or the layout of this. I got rid of the navigation block on the property page on the left hand side. Um, <clears throat> and I just added it because we're using Bootstrap, just added a few columns here. I put my the Google map that we were working on on this side. Um, I also you know, put an address on this side. Um, you know, and I put the contact thing that we made earlier on this side, but we can reuse that. Um, also, just grabbed a uh, like a bootstrap, you know, made a bootstrap carousel, um, you know, with little thumbnails, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, again, you know, like in the links in this description of this video, you'll be able to see, um, you know, I'll put the full node uh, or the full like template um, property code up there, so you can kind of go through and and check it out um, however <coughs> so yeah we got the price and we got um, unit types and we we, um, we made that a little bit better um, and then this is just the content and this is just the con the output of the content variable um, which basically shows you that you can do whatever you want um, you know with with the, f the field data um, so now like I don't I hate this title I don't think I'm um, having this like a title like this um, is actually you know good for anything um, so you know like this would be a good caption to have say down here um, you know so what so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change um, the titles of these to the address entered into the um, page and to do that you're gonna need a module called automatic node titles and I have installed that and there it is and I've put it on and you're gonna need um, maybe configure the permissions but if you're an administrator um, who cares but look into the permissions so automatic node titles again links will be in the description so let's go and go ahead and um, ch see what we can do with this so I'm gonna go into I, I don't want this to appear I want it to be the address so let's do that so I'm gonna go con um, structure content types and I'm gonna click on my property content type and I'm going to hit automatically generate the the title and hide the title field. So that's what I'm going to do. And then it's going to give us this uh, um, pattern for title. Now this these what what these take is tokens. Um, so so you basically can um, use a uh, token and it'll replace the title for that. So let's um, go ahead and click node and we're going to roll on down to location and then in um, our location we have lots of little um, you know choices really so I was actually I don't know and it's nice I don't think it's actually in this location I think it's in um, field location because we didn't really use um, like it as an entity we used it as uh, well I'm gonna you can't see my fingers do the air quotes but CCK style <laughs> Sorry, um, or file field uh, style enhancement or, or field. So obviously we want to have the um, the street, probably the street location. So you can just go and add that or click that, and it'll stick it in there. So that's going to give it the street, and then we're going to roll along back down here, and we'll call it. We'll give it the maybe the postal code we'll just start, we'll just start with that so we'll just give it the node property property um, street location and node field property location and we're gonna hit save and back up home go to test property here and it's still there. Now why is it still there? Because it already has like a, a title in there. So I'm going to hit edit. And then you see that note that the title of that is gone. This, but as soon as I hit save, now we now we've got the uh, you know the actual location generating the title. So from now on you won't need to put in a um, a, a title, let's just say. So maybe we, we want to add a couple more fields to that. So I'll just go do that. So let's go back to structure. 
Yeah, structure con okay. Which <laughs> brings me up an idea. I'm gonna install I'm gonna turn on toolbar style just because it makes this menu a little bit bigger. There we go. And now we can select that a little bit quicker. <coughs> Property, no title. So we'll go back into nodes and not location. We need the field location. Token, um, city. Maybe we'll throw in the city. So I don't want the I don't want it there. I want it there. Um, there and we want to have maybe the well province or state so we're just gonna say province state slash province and it's gonna stick there where did it go location province there it is maybe a comma in there All right. save that content type it hasn't changed so we're just gonna hit edit roll on down hit save and now it's now we've got the drive probably need to put a comment a comma in there or a hyphen or something um, as our title so our, our big title is being generated automatically um, via the via the address field um, in that content type so that's good so now now we'll probably um, want to add like a um, a greater or a better a better title so again we could we could probably go into the the page template and get rid of the title um, but I, I don't know I, I like it it's up to you do what you want so I'm gonna put in one more um, field in just just for giggles so we're gonna go structure content types uh, property we're gonna go manage fields and I'm going to call this a good, um, maybe good. Got a can type. Good title. A good title. And it's going to be a text field. And we're going to save. And we're going to save it. And uh, maybe we'll just call it title now because no one's really going to see this. And I'm going to make it required. Please enter. And interesting title. Save. Okay. Now, where's. So my title, I'm going to whip that right up the top. And hit save there. I'm going to go over to manage display. Again, I want to hide this. Hit save. Back over to manage fields for a minute field good title, so I'm going to need my name. I'm going to pick where I want to put it in the template. Test property. So maybe I'm going to put it above the price. Um, this this just, um, this blank space is to, to be taken up by more images. I don't know. I'm not, ex I'm not explaining. <laughs> anyway, so I want to put it by the, by the price here, so let's uh, find the price. There's the price, and maybe instead of that, I'm going to put that as an H3, just for fun. And I'm going to make myself a div, and I'll give it a class. So I probably should just say dot. Um, yeah, give it a title, and we'll say. maybe well actually Drupal uses the class titles title so I'm just gonna say good title or whatever and I'm gonna say h2 and then I'm gonna say 
echo node title that und zero value save that refresh nothing's gonna happen because we don't have a good title in this one yet and edit good title yeah I know that's setting the message because I didn't have it in there before not to worry investors dream maybe An investor's dream. That's what we'll call it. And we'll scroll on down, hit save. And there it is, an investor's dream. That's a little recap for, you know, just <clears throat> using um, the custom um, the fields anyway. All right, so, so that kind of covers the automatic node titles and the, you know, just a little bit of a little bit more on on what we can do with the themes um, stuff like that so in the next tutorial I guess we're going to yeah in the next tutorial we're going to um, class up our property search page that we were making before um, so that it'll actually look nice when there's lots of properties um, so we're gonna do that and then also add a custom search feature to probably our home page or somewhere else so we're hot, gonna hide all this stuff so that um, so that nobody's really gonna use it, and um, then we will um, talk about how we would uh, potentially monetize this site um, by having people pay to put up properties or or whatever else.